sasa watu wote wamelekwa pale mahali baba skopo atapanda miti kama mgeni wa heshima so karibuni pale mahali baba skopo wako Baraka tu, baadae 
kupata cheti wa dunia leo ni baraka tukumbuka kama Thank <laughs> you. 
We have a house for the teachers. The um, dispensary will be managed by the, by the brothers. Uh, there will be brothers here who are trained nurses. The teachers who are brothers, some of them, are trained teachers. They are being assisted by other trained teachers. 
So we are trying to do everything here in a professional way. Karibu brother Henry. Thank you very much, Brother Peter. His Lordship, the Bishop, Right Reverend Cornelius of Corrie, Catholic Bishop of Eldoret Diocese, Honorable David Koros, Medical Coordinator, Catholic Diocese of Eldoret, Mrs. Anna Mata, brothers, my fellow brothers, priests, religious sisters of various congregations present here, ladies and gentlemen. It is yet another history in this community as the doors of the facility, medical facility is being opened here. The doors of this institution has it been opened today for those people who will be coming here? This project has taken the brothers quite time and resources to put up. This facility is much based on the Bamako Initiative, whose basic work will be put on the principal primary health management. These fruits are only going to be evident when the community come and get the services here. And when they don't come, then it will be useless to put up such a building to assist the community. The health services in the community, and especially for those people who will not be able to access to basic health services, we are going to put up an initiative whereby measures are going to put in place for the community providers to receive these services. How is it going to be? This is what we are going to put in place. We are going to assess the services by giving basic health care to administrative groups, community elders, youth groups, women, groups around, we are going to empower them to put into place what we as an institution want them to do. Generally, in the field of health and development, it is not simple, since it involves a lot of work, energy, and a lot of resources which has to be put in place. To do this, we are going to lies with the Ministry of Health by which the, when we lies with them, they will be able to provide to us preventive services which we are going to put here to nurture and prevent morbidity and mortality rate of children around us. Community providers and development, we are going to sustain this health services responsive to the needs of the, the time. With the support of these communities around us and the health providers within our uh, vicinity, in the clinical medicine, I assure you that we are firmly committed to providing to you basic, reliable, affordable, health services that will deem fit for this community. Thank you. So my coffee, is, my coffee is for Brother Henry or Juan. Actually, if you go through his speech, you realize that he's very committed and you are here to see that on, uh, on the ground. So I'll call upon the medical coordinator, the diocesan medical coordinator, <coughs> Madam Ann Ahmad Karibu. Baba Skofu, Mabachi, sisters, brothers, 
na wote ambao mmekuja hapa kuhudhuria hii siku ya leo hamjambo hamjambo tena asante um tumesikia maneno ya hii nyumba na faile bishop alikuwa anataka kubariki alisema tutapata cheti kwanza ndio tuanze kasi hapa mtafumilia kidogo lakini brothers wataenda haraka haraka sana wanangoja tu daktari mkuu wa district ya washinikishu akuje ndio wapatie njia um, tumesikia kwamba services mingi sitapeanwa hapa watu watatipiwa kawaida watoto watapatiwa chanjo tumeambiwa kwamba hata VCT ambayo tunasikia sana kwa radio kwa makaseti itapeanwa hapa na ningependa kusema tafadhali mlango ikifunguliwa kwamba muingie mkuje kwa wingi tupimwe tujue hali yetu kwa sababu uh, hatutaki tupotese tuendelee kupotesa watu bila kweli sababu na mimi najua kwa ofisi yangu watu wametoka Kabongo kuja kusema kwamba iko watu wanakufa kwa sababu ya ukimwi na iko watoto mayatima wanawachwa na tukembenda wanaingi wakuje watumie hizo safi sasa ambazo zitapeanwa hapa tukinge hiyo kufa ambayo tunaweza kuikinga hii labda kusema neno moja ama mambo ama ama mawili kwa niaba ya chief ambaye simuoni na pia kwa niaba ya area councilor kwanza baba scope leo hapa kwetu nikiwa mwenyeji hapa ni siku kubwa tena baada ya wewe kuchukua nafasi hii kuja kuibariki hili jengo letu ambaye ni hospitali kusema kweli mimi nikiwa mkaaji wa hapa nachukua nafasi hii kushukuru brother Paul na my brothers wenzake kwa sababu tangu waje area hii kwa wale ambao tumekaa hapa miaka mingi tumeona mwangaza kubwa sana in future italetu hapa na ningeomba tena <coughs> watu wetu wengi bado wanaokopa hii mambo ya kupimwa ukimwi na nini na nini na najua mkitafuta mobile clinics sababu siende round watu watajitokesha but you know 
if somebody is asked to come here akuja timu atasema ah nikionwa nikienda huko watasema tu but i know with the present uh, treatment ya uh, aids mtu akichitokesha ali enough mtu ataishi kwa miaka mingi lakini uki karibu kukataa alafu mwishoe unapatikana pengine utakuwa kama umekonjeka kupona sio rahisi lakini it's good enough ikijulikana kama baadhi iko kwa all stages kupona kwa muda ni rahisi na tujasema ati kwa sababu hii dawa imepatikana mwanzo kurukaruka akachana ama mwaka hiyo ingine wakati nilipo kwa hapa hii haikuwa siku yangu nilikuja kufungua shule ile ya primary school lakini watu wetu wameshindwa kutumia hiyo shule sisi mnalipa shilingi ngapi kwa tam brother boy how much per tam the school 1000 but you see to pay 1000 mwananchi anashindwa ati anasema serikali walete kitu inaitwa free primary education mnajua hiyo kitu inaitwa free primary education ndio itaharibu elimu kwa nji so hawa hawaleti walimu hawachenge mashule hata mkijengewa shule kama hii kuna walimu mnaambiwa mlipe elimu moja kwa kwa tam mnashindwa tafadhali kusaidiane to invest kwa elimu sikia wanasemanga elimu ndio education is the key to kwa maisha sasa tusipo invest kwa wa, wa, wa toto tuta invest kwa nani alafu tukiamuka tu asubuhi oh hiyo elfu moja tukifika Eldoret inaisha na hakuna kitu unaenda fanya kupiga mtomo tu siasa eh hey, nini nini eh hey, kusema mengi wengine wakati tulikuwa tukikuwa tukifungua hiyo shule sikia wengine wakisema ati wataleta raila watengeneze injia wametengeneza mpaka sasa ati ataleta stima wameleta lakini tutakaa chini na brother Paul na ma brothers wengine tuone jinsi ya kuwasaidia kama ni stima tuongee na ma brothers ama kama ni match tutaongea nao by the end of next year kama by march tutakuwa tumefika kiwango fulani sitasema saa hii tutafanya nini lakini tutapanga mbango nao nimeona wako na mbango mzuri mzuri na hata mi, niko na mbango mzuri ya kabongo tutakaa na hawa na wakati wa hapa tuone jinsi ya kusaidiana na kwa file hii haikuwa siku yangu ya leo siku ya siasa na haikuwa siku yangu ilikuwa siku ya bishop siku nyingine tukikuja swaga hiyo maneno yetu tutakuja sema hiyo na muishi kwa amani eh umesikia serikali wametangaza ya kwamba maekari ama ekarechi ambaye itabatiwa title sasa to not be less than 200. So mtu mwenye ananunua hapa neka waneka itakuwa shida kupata title sasa. Sana waomba. Na serikali walipitisha. Sio mimi nasema. Na wajulisha tu ndio kesho mzema de atakuwa. Serikali wamesema ya kwamba mtu mwenye rudi hapa tena kubariki jengo hili mpya kwa upande sasa ya dawa na juzi juzi mdudi bariki madarasa tukafungua shule sasa tume upande wa elimu inaendelea tumeona leo watoto siku ile tulikuwa hapa walikuwa watoto wachache sana na leo tumeona kwa wengi hiyo basi kuonyesha kwamba wanatumia shule hii 
leo tumekuja kufungua sasa eh, kubariki ya mambo ya sasa kutibu mwili so that kwa hivyo mambo ya elimu na hapa naendelea sawa sasa kukamilisha ile mpango ya kanisa si kuhubiri tu bali kufanya kazi kusaidia watu kwa upande wa elimu na dawa hapa sasa tumekamilisha ile mpango yetu ya kawaida tangu mwanzo kanisa katoliki mnaanza kuhubiri kwa mashule na pia hospitali na sasa hapa tumechukua tume hizo mbili katika sehemu hii ndio nataka kuuliza tu ni wananchi wa hapa washirikiane na my brother ili maendeleo yao nayopanga iendelee sawa tunahitaji ushirikiano kabisa kwa wananchi wa hapa ukitaka maendeleo ya yote kwa watu wote lazima kuwe na ushirikiano ushirikiano kwa viongozi kwa wananchi wa hapa kwa kusaidia mabrada ile ndogo amesema alisaidia kidogo tu kuna shule gani kwa tao ambayo na liwa elimu moja kwa tano iko na niliambia brada tangu siku ile na leo nitaambia mabrada mtoto wote ajaliba hiyo elimu moja aende nyumbani nafikiri wewe ni brada na mwali brada mkuu ya lazima kuja hapo sitaki mchezo elimu moja tu kwa sababu mmesikia sasa ile mtoto wa mzazi alipi hiyo elimu moja kwa tano aende shule nyingine ya serikali nisikia hii ni mchezo mtu anaweza afunga hata kuku na nauza kuku ngapi tatu eh ikiwa kubwa na, na ni mbili eh kama bei ya mahindi ilikuwa mbele siku moja ilikuwa bei ya kuku ya ine nasikia kilikuwa mwaka mwingine eh asa kuku nashinda kulisha na hakuna chakula na noa lisha cha eh, kuku ndakuja uliza brother nimesikia <laughs> <laughs>